Hey everybody, it's Kathy, and in today's video, I'm talking about 12 fall 2022 fashion trends that I won't be wearing over 50, plus three fashion trends for fall that I actually like. So ladies, I thought it would be fun if I went over some of the fashion trends that is all the buzz now in all of the style magazines. I don't own pretty much any of these clothes. The concept of this video was just for us to sit back and talk about the trends and you know whether or not we think that we would look good in them. So the first hot trend for fall 2022 is equestrian wear. Equestrian wear looks great I think if you're smaller because it's kind of tight fitting with the leggings that they wear and the nice jacket that they wear. I really do like the look. I don't like the look on myself at this moment in time. The one thing that I would pull from the equestrian look that I would absolutely love to own is a pair of equestrian boots. I think they're so nice and they would look great with some leggings for the fall. So I have been on the hunt for a couple of years now every fall to try and find a pair of equestrian boots that will fit my calf because I think my calf, it's 17 inches, it's very muscular and I just haven't been able to find a pair yet. So, you know, if you have a pair and you think that it might work for me, let me know and I'm still gonna be on the hunt looking for them and if I find them, I will be sure to let you know. Okay, the second fall fashion trend. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this is a trend. Baggy bottoms and oversized shirts. Uh, definitely no. Not for me, thank you very much. As a five foot four woman with an apple shaped body, anything baggy is only gonna make me look 10 times bigger. Not interested, thank you. Honestly, do baggy pants and oversized shirts look good on anybody? I don't think so. Okay, the third fall fashion trend for 2022 is something that I absolutely love, and they are loafers. Do you remember when we were younger and we had penny loafers? And I remember my mom telling me when she was a kid, they had penny loafers and you'd actually put a penny in them. We don't have pennies anymore in Canada. They did away with them years ago. I just love loafers because they're so versatile. I could wear them with jeans, I can wear them with dress pants, I can wear them, you know, with nice dressy joggers. They come in lots of colors and lots of different styles. I really like the ones that are a knockoff of the Gucci loafers. Oh, I so desperately want a pair of those, maybe one day. I just love the look. They're just so classic looking, very sleek looking. So I'm not really a person to go with trendy stuff, but if I can kind of find like a classic option, I would definitely buy a pair of loafers this year. I, I really want to add a pair of nice black loafers to my um, to the wardrobe. Okay, the next fall fashion trend for 2022 is one that is not appealing to me at all, and it's a white tank top. I would probably opt for a white t-shirt, but not a white tank top. I might wear one in the summertime, but white, you have to be careful with it because if you're big in the chest, big in the belly area, it's going to make you look bigger. So there's nothing wrong with wearing, say, a white t-shirt, but I would pair it with like a nice uh, necklace or put a sweater over it. I think that would be a nice option. But just to wear like a white tank top, no, that's a trend that I'm gonna pass on. The next trend for fall 2022 are sequins. Now I have to be honest, I do like watching award shows and I love seeing the ladies in their nice sequin gowns. But sequins in my lifestyle, probably not. I cannot see myself going to Walmart to do groceries like in a sequin dress or sequin pants. Now I might have a top that has a few sequins strategically placed for say the holiday season. I think that would look okay on me, but just to have an all over sequin top, I'm probably gonna be a pass for me. The next fall fashion trend for 2022 are bomber jackets and Tom Cruise made bomber jackets cool for 2022 with the new Top Gun Maverick movie. Did you go see that movie? It was wonderful. And Tom Cruise at 60, he is aging like a fine wine. I feel as a petite woman and a plus size woman that bomber jackets are kind of tricky because some of them are kind of like puffy and can make you look larger than what you are. If I could find one that looked good on me that I felt good wearing, I might consider it. 
but I really think that this is a hard sell for me or somebody that has my body shape because a bomber jacket is like a shortcut jacket and it's gonna cut me right in the middle of the hip and that brings attention right to the area that I am trying to hide. So I think that if you have a different body shape than me, if you're taller or slimmer, you know, I think it might be a great look for you. You can get vegan leather, you could get like quilted ones, you can get ones that aren't so bulky and it might be a great look for somebody else, but it's not gonna work for me. Blazers are back in style. Have they ever left? I love how blazers look on women, but I just have not been able to find one that works good on me. I've ordered some from Old Navy, from Amazon. I've tried them in the local stores. They just don't look good. I mean, I don't know why. I would love to get a hot pink one because I love pink. They're just, I don't know, there's just something about a blazer, it doesn't work for me. So what I opt for instead are just long cardigans, and I think that's a more streamlined and classic look than, than a blazer for me. But if you can wear a blazer, you know, buy one because they're hot, they're always in style. I'd probably go with a navy or a black or maybe a hot pink because I think hot pink is in this fall and I love pink. If you live in a warmer climate, you could get away wearing, you know, that all year. And a basic blazer is a great staple piece to have in your wardrobe. This next fall trend is an interesting one and it's a cat suit. I don't mean a suit that makes you look like a cat. I mean a cat suit, you know, like is it Wonder Woman? Not Wonder Woman, one of the characters. The woman's all dressed in like a black cat suit. Uh, it's gonna be a hard no for me. When I saw that this was a fall trend, the first thing that I thought, how am I gonna go pee if I'm wearing that? You're gonna have to like totally get undressed. It's the same thing as wearing like a jumpsuit. I love how they look on people, but if you have to go to the washroom and you can't wait, I can see getting into some problems with that. So I think if you're like six feet, six foot five, and you know, a lot slimmer than me, you'd look great in it. But for me, it's gonna be a pass. The next fall trend is cashmere. I have never owned anything cashmere, but I would like to add a classic staple piece to my wardrobe, as long as it didn't make me itchy. Can't stand being itchy or too warm. I have been tempted to buy a sweater in the past. I just don't know if I would get the use out of it because we don't go out a lot. I think it would be a great staple to have in your wardrobe. Something else that's a fall trend and is the color caramel. I love the candies caramel. <laughs> uh, the caramel color though, I'm not sure if I could pull it off. I'm, just not sure how it would look with my complexion. So a way that I could incorporate it is maybe get a scarf that has caramel in it. Like, you know, the Burberry scarf, a lot of caramel in that. And that's a classic, it's a staple. Even if you could find a Burberry inspired scarf, that would be one way of um, adding that into your wardrobe if you want to follow the caramel trend for fall. Oh boy, the next trend for fall is oversized outerwear, like oversized, long coats, oversized jackets that look like the dog has had a hold of them and has ripped them to shreds. I don't know how this is flattering on anybody, but it's certainly not one that I'm going to embrace, so it is a pass for me. And as a petite woman, again, anything that is oversized is not flattering. It's, I don't think it's flattering on a tall, thin person either. So definitely a pass. Okay, the next trend is interesting and it's head to toe leather. Unless I'm going to become a dominatrix or join a motorcycle club, probably not gonna be wearing head to toe leather. Now there's nothing wrong with a nice pair of leather pants. I have always wanted a pair. And when I get to my goal weight, which will come one day, I am buying myself a pair of leather pants and only if I wear them around the house, I don't care. I wanted a pair since I was in my twenties, but I definitely would not pair it with a leather top. I just find that's too much leather. But another way I could incorporate the leather trend into my look is getting a vegan leather moto jacket. A moto jacket looks great on anybody, but again, if you have a big belly, gotta be careful where it cuts you. So just be mindful of that. The next trend is an over the knee boot. Um, probably not for me because if it went over my knee, it would pretty much hide my whole leg. So I'd look really short. Um, I think models on a catwalk, I'd look great in an over the knee boot. 
Maybe if you're a lot taller than me, it would work. But for me, no. Oh boy, this one clogs. Don't hate me. If you have clogs and you love them, wear them. It's whatever makes you happy. I'm just telling you what the trends are. And this is gonna be a fall trend that is no thank you. They do not look flattering. They don't look comfortable, although I've had people tell me they're comfortable, but it's something I'm gonna pass on. Okay, funny story for the next one. Head to toe denim, which is a no for me, okay? I just don't like the look on me. I have tried so many jean jackets. Jean jackets just don't look good on me. Maybe when I get down to a size eight, they will, but at this point in time, I don't like how I look in them, so if it doesn't wow me, it's not staying in my closet. But I gotta tell you this funny story. Wearing a denim on denim is actually called the Canadian Tuxedo. I'm from Canada. It got its name in 1951 when the singer Bing Crosby wasn't permitted to check into a high-end hotel in Vancouver because he was wearing a denim on denim outfit. Oh my goodness, can you imagine? Levi's designed a custom tuxedo for him made entirely out of denim and they coined it a Canadian tuxedo. So Canadians will find this story fun and interesting because we can make fun of ourselves. but I just thought that was kind of funny. So I just thought that little tidbit of information would give you a chuckle. So which of the 2022 fall trends are you planning on embracing and which ones are you saying uh, no thanks? Let me know in the comments. Please hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching. Bye.